are in front of Beijing Railway Station. Finally arrived at Beijing, and today is uh, the 19th Congress Party for People's Republic of China, and uh, the China flag is raised in front of Beijing Railway Station. I went to a ticket office here to amend my tickets return tonight and yes I did divert it from many places inside until the ones outside just to refund my direct ticket train from Beijing to Shanghai because I want to stop somewhere and now I'm done with the hustle so next to take the Beijing Metro outside Beijing railway station and hit for the city I'm on the Beijing Metro Station and this friendly automatic onto the staff got me a ticket towards Tiananmen Tong or Tiananmen East. Actually, I'm supposed to wait out just outside the counter on the manual, which everybody queue very crowded. So thanks to this friendly automatic onto the staff, which can make me easier to get in the metro. I decided to get down at Wang Fujing, which is one station before Tiananmen East. And I'm going to find a market, but not for the real one, the real market first. Uh, I just need to charge at a nearby Starbucks coffee around here. So I found Starbucks behind me, but uh, there's only one charging port, and it's going. And I've Try here, this is Dunkin Donuts. Yes, Dunkin Donuts. And they have one charging port, so I gonna chill right at Dunkin Donuts instead of Starbucks. So I can't stay there too long, but my charging is still complete, so I just need to move on. Now I'm finding this shop in Wang Fujing Street that I went too long ago. It's something that sells special food, the food that you don't usually eat. After walking around here, finding like an idiot, I think it's all open at night, so I think I'll come back here in the evening before my train. And now I'm going to somewhere more important, which is the Chananmen Square. Now I'm on the metro towards Tiananmen East, so I'm on just only one stop of Wang Fujing. And yeah, typical on the Beijing metro, always crowded. Well, we, we need to pass a very long security check before entering the Tiananmen Square. After queuing for almost two hours, Finally, after almost two hours queuing, I'm finally free from security check and going towards this Tiananmen Square. No visit to Beijing without seeing Tiananmen and this is a picture of Chairman Mao on the gate inside the Forbidden City and this is the whole view behind of Tiananmen Square and after this I'm not sure if I'm going to enter the Forbidden City or not as I only have 12 hours in Beijing and I need to accomplish other things Looks like I didn't enter the Forbidden City and I think they will not use the main door of Tiananmen Square 
we use the side door I guess I think I better not go there I'm uh, walking back to Wang Fujing this one station where I, I prefer walk I've seen the place from afar after walking with less hustle finally I'm back at Wang Fujing Now let's find the street food market that I meant this morning. You know what? I've gone too far. Now I'll be heading back again to the main street. This is already very far. I think I walked already more than 5 minutes or 10 minutes I guess. I need to go back again, I just need to find whatever I got. So if I don't find well, goodbye. Now it's almost 6 o'clock and I have 2 hours to kill in Beijing. So I need to stop for light dinner in McDonald's. After this, I'm going to find the street food market. If I can't find them till 8, I just go to Beijing Railway Station. And it's confirmed that the place is closed. So no more street food, no more insects. You can eat insects as you like scorpions or snakes. It's very nice, but too bad that it's closed during my visit. But hopefully I might get a chance to visit Beijing again soon. Heading to Chenmen and now I'm changing from line 1 to line 5 to cut through to line 2 and this is a good choice as it is as Chenmen is in line 2 which is adjacent to same line with Beijing railway station Subway line 5 now and stations are better similar to the Shanghai Metro which has platform screen doors unlike lines 1 and 2 which is still old and this one stop just one stop for line 5 to cut from line 1 to line 2 I'm going down here to change to line 2 now and this is my first time to get a seat on the Beijing Metro just one stop to Chanmen on the line 2 and just found out that I exited Chanmen station and it is behind the Tiananmen Square but I'm not here for Tiananmen Square again I'm here for the pedestrian shopping street Chanmen Pedestrian Street and this is the tram which goes along the pedestrian street you can also ride the tram along the shopping street here and it's lovely and I went here in 2012 and it was in the evening and raining but now it looks better just like Chanmen Square at night goes along the Pedersen Street in Chenmen and the ticket costs 20 RMB now the driver is in the opposite direction still promoting passengers to get in I reached the edge with the tram, the edge of the pedestrian street, Chanmen, and now all the way behind you can see is the Tiananmen Square. Yeah, the, tra the tram reverses back to Tiananmen, back to yeah, back to the starting edge.
so this is a very light snack before heading to the station. Uh, KFC just mashed potato, just order here at Chanmen. And yeah, soon I will proceed to Beijing as I I am done with everything in Beijing so far, which I can go. And this is Chenmen Pedestrian Street along the way. I'm heading to Beijing Railway Station now. So thank you for watching this short vlog about 12 hours in Beijing. Actually, I just want to ride the train. So see you on my train ride after this.